Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is time to come here to Beret Hills because it's Kyle Richards ready to quit the real house of Beret Hills to join her husband's show, Buying Beret Hills, on Netflix with her two daughters. She's finally talking about it and what is going to happen next. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, I mean, look. Kai Richards has been receiving one of the biggest backlashes that we have seen, not only on her, but on Beverly Hills, probably since ever, okay? Uh, we thought, remember when everyone like was like, oh, Camille is the most hated housewife, and they were calling her names and all of that? That's nothing compared to what Kyle Richards is receiving right now. People are not happy for not defending herself after something that it was very obvious that she should have to do. But instead, choosing to defend Erica Jane, okay, who was literally drunk and drunk screaming at a 14-year-old boy, okay? So people are not having it. They haven't stopped. It has been like, what, over a week already and people are not stopping their comments against Kyle Richards. And maybe that could be one of those things that it will like initiate something on her to say, I'm done with the show. She has been saying many times that she is always questioning if she could do a season more or two. But, you know, uh... And the end, she ended up always returning because she's with the girls and having fun and it's amazing. But this one, it's intense, okay? Now, however, she just did an interview, okay? And I want to read you a little bit about it. Let me found it here, okay? Uh, they asked Kyle Richards what are her thoughts on quitting The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. She says, there's always times that we are like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Although Kyle has certainly had times where she's questioned her future on the show, she said that season 11 wasn't one of those times, explaining that she was at the height of her career with two shows and two movies, including The Housewife of the North Pole, In the Works, all which were led by NBC Universal, Bravo's parents' company. I was really busy and overwhelmed, but I was really grateful. There has been very good they have been very good to me, too, so you definitely don't walk away after a year like that. So then you think, well, I can hang in there another year. And then drama unfolds. And next thing you know, you are crying and you have anxiety and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore, but I just take it each year as it comes. According to Kyle, the deciding factor in her ongoing returns is based around her ability to have fun with her cast mate. As long as you still have times of having fun on this show, then it's great because we do have a lot of fun. Throughout her 12 years on The Real House of Beverly Hills, Kyle has shared a lot of her life and while she says she has no regrets about what she shared, she does have a lot of regrets about certain behavior. I have a lot of regrets over the years, the way I reacted to certain things or handled certain things. Is she talking about this, Evander Pump? Or even something that I said flippantly that I didn't quite realize in the moment. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you going to try to save your face after the whole incident about Garcelle? Kyle noted, without the camera, sometimes we say things and you go, oh, I didn't mean that. I, what I meant is, you don't really get that luxury in reality television. So there has been moments where I'm just like, I'm never going to shake that one. But you also learn a lot about yourself in doing a show like this. Like, I wish I handled these things differently. Or I don't really like how I reacted to certain things. Or I need to work on that or on myself. So in a weird way, it can be really good for you if you're open to growing and changing. 
Girl, <laughs> I mean, the amount of, this is a screaming, please don't fire me for doing that. Please don't fire me for not defending ourselves, boy, and defending this drunk bitch. As Kyle filmed the latest season of The Real House of Beverly Hills, Mauricio and her daughters were filming buying Beverly Hills, which means the show is already filmed, guys, which is described by Netflix as a real estate Oku soap. And because her contract doesn't allow her to be in production on two shows at once, Kyle was unable to film for their upcoming series. We were actually shooting at the same time, so it wasn't really an option, but I'm very excited for my husband and my daughters. I think it's going to be great and they're going to do well. Kyle then admitted that while she previously didn't want her daughters to follow in her footsteps, she felt this project would be good for their business and the business of her husband's real estate firm. Girl, I mean, come on. She lived for reality TV, okay? I, what is she going to do with her daughter? She cannot even control them, okay? The second this came up, I said, well, I have sat there and said, I will never want my kids. I will never let them join a reality show. I said, that's going to come back and haunt me for sure. And of course, now here we are, but we are in a real state. So the idea was like, you know what? My husband and my daughters, they are business woman and he's a businessman. It's great for our company and our brand. And we can kind of have some fun doing this till we build up our brand. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know that they're not going to leave the reality TV anytime soon. She read uh, recent. They wanted to be in television, but they, they are business-minded first. So I say, okay, fine. Do what you think is right for the agency. Girl. <laughs> I just, I hate when they're not real. I hate, like, they, of course, Netflix was like, hey, do you want to have a show which could be the uh, potential uh, competition of, of selling Sunset and be extremely successful? And they are going to be like... Hmm, let me think about it. Mm, I don't need that money. I don't need the fame. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Bitch boys. Also, during the interview, Kyle said that fans shouldn't be holding their breath for Chris to join. Oh, it's about Chris Jenner. Anyways. So, I mean, honestly, look, Kyle, she needs to learn to be a little bit more real with her answers. You know, I will be like, well, who wouldn't want to have a reality show when they have grown up on reality TV? They know the opportunities. Of course, it's going to be great, especially realtor, like um, realtor, realtors. How do you say that in English? Latino moment, guys. Real estate. Real estate shows they do amazing. People here in the United States love real estate shows, okay? That's why Selling Sunset is so famous. Remember Flipping Out with Jeff Lewis? It was incredibly famous. It ran for many, many seasons because they love to do that here. So, of course, it's going to be insane. And if these girls are likable are way more smart than Kyle, they could also have a very, very big career. Now, I'm, let's just hope that whatever Kyle and Mauricio are doing stupidly on Beverly Hills is not going to affect uh, buying Netflix. So there you have it, guys. She will not be part of buying Netflix, and she doesn't have plans of leaving the Real House of Beverly Hills for now. Okay, because they are not making it easy and I have a little bit of tea on that one, but that's going to be my next video. So stay tuned. All right. So in the meantime, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.